and uh, my name is mentioned is always get attached to who the power. So who does she say something before what I can say? You should appear always in print. And uh, my name is mentioned is always get attached to who the power. So who does she say something before what I can say? <laughs>
to my uh, disparate cultural artists specifically here in Korea. Um, we will break down the day in two parts. Um, today, um, my dear friend and colleague, everyone will the chair um, discussions, and tomorrow I will chair the sessions. And he will say a bit more now um, of um, today's kind of panels, and I will do the same tomorrow. But um, I will end this really a very, very big. Welcome to all of you. It's amazing that you all made it here. It was a short time, and yeah, the situation here already shows the most important. Um, yeah, like kind of communication we can provide all these days is in spaces for communication, for talks amongst yourself, and maybe future um, projects will come out of that. And that is also the real goal for all days here, and I give all to you. Thank you, Wojtek, and thank you. Um, I don't want to be here, thanks. Time is really running um, by. But um, really, I want to uh, just give a few comments on um, today's stream, and also the film in general, um, shifting gra gravity. And actually, I guess the fact that we all come here has already make us all experience the shifting gravity when we are sitting on the plane and basically we lost our gravity kind of sense and we always kind of shift the situation. This is really what is really reflecting how globalization is pushing us to rethink uh, every cultural thing, every uh, uh, issue about um, creativity and I guess the uh, Biennale and also the culture, especially the culture of Biennale has opened up a really incredibly important perspective in understanding the change of our globalized world. Um, the, when I mentioned the cultural uh, Biennale, it's not simply uh, describing a situation in which the numbers, the great numbers of um, Biennale has been um, created in the world, founded in the world, and, but it becomes really a cultural uh, phenomenon that change how we understand the relationship between creation and institution, between uh, creation, contemporary creation, and uh, the transformation of various localities, uh, various social relationships. Um, I guess the situation uh, makes us really think that our world is there's no one single center anymore, there's no one single center of gravity anymore. Um, this is why we emphasize on the term of shifting. Uh, so gravity, when we mentioned gravity, is also always related to this process of shifting. And this shifting actually has been observed in the most intense way uh, in Asia. So this is why uh, to inaugurate the uh, World Forum, uh, World Biennale Forum, uh, we decided to really explore the possibility of how the Asian context can tell us the lesson of understanding this shift. Um, so um, we have we have seen really an um, amazing number of um, Vietnam that's been uh, 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 created across Asia over the last three decades. Uh, with of course you know Quantum Vietnam as one of the leaders. Uh, what is interesting is that when I was visiting Vietnam a few years ago, I found out actually um, this, the older generation of artists. Uh, from the 70s before uh, the war, there was a Hanoi, uh, sorry, there's a Saigon Biennale, and, and people still remember that, and I, I saw a very vague photocopy of the invitation of that event. So that was a very interesting moment when you understand that you know, Asia has not only uh, been a very important uh, center, a, a new center in this shifting gravity uh, landscape um, for the last 20 or 30 years, maybe long before that, together with the um, the negotiation uh, of um, modernization over more than a century, actually Asia has already offered a very uh, fertile, very important uh, terrain to explore this contemporary creation. Um, even, sometimes even in the form, one of the most interesting forms, which is Biennale. So um, that said, uh, there is an important kind of contemporary moment that brings us beyond this 
uh, this kind of um, historical perspective to embrace the contemporary uh, reality of creation that uh, very much, uh, again, related to uh, political change. Um, and with you know, the creation of Guangzhou Biennale and many other Biennales, one has seen actually the reason why in Asia has seen so many Biennales is because there's a very interesting shift in social reality happening here together with its contemporary transformation uh, through urbanization, through uh, democratization, through um, uh, various negotiations with uh, different kinds of political and social uh, possibilities. And this actually uh, gives us really a, another very important reason why we should actually focus on this tension between individual artistic visions and the social collective, social uh, remaking of our communities. And that, once again, gives us a new understanding of the necessity of having all these Biennale, Triennale events. And, all, and also all the debates around that. I guess today, um, we are, I'm not going to read the, the paper that I actually prepared. I guess um, we are really running out of time. Um, but I just want to really emphasize this very important political consciousness that has to be constantly bringing back for us to understand the shifting landscape of how gravities are being deconstructed into multiple gravities today. And I want to actually uh, introduce uh, the uh, panels that we are having um, uh, today. We are having two major panels. Uh, from uh, focusing on uh, the analysis in the Asia Pacific region, and that uh, would be uh, seven or eight representatives uh, from those uh, events who will be introducing their experiences. And also, there's really a very important uh, dimension of Asia's uh, biennials. It's not only that we're seeing the more traditional kind of format of contemporary art being uh, explored, but also there's a very important uh, kind of a new perspective, which is really related to the transformation of urban uh, urban situations. So we have seen also very important uh, uh, events related to uh, design, architecture, city, and social transformation. So that makes really for the last 20 years uh, uh, the, the landscape extremely interesting. And also this really important a few regional events that, such as the Asia Pacific Triennial, such as the um, um, Fukuoka Asia Triennial, um, that actually give us a, a very interesting kind of focus on how uh, this region has been transformed, not only in its relation but outside, but also inside. And that is a very interesting, uh, intense moment of network breaking and also new community breaking. Um, and again, let me just introduce uh, our keynote speaker today. This is Wang Wei from uh, Tsinghua University. And one of the media achievements that uh, Wang Wei has been doing, uh, has achieved, is really to re examine the notion of Asia uh, in its various writings uh, from a historical uh, perspective from the history of intellectualism in this region, uh, from its pers uh, perspective of negotiating with modernity. And then uh, today, he will talk about something much more contemporary, which is the, really the tension between uh, the crisis of representation and the contradiction of the Chinese and also Asian political system. That's what I'm going to say. 